If you're not doing what you love, my friend, the millions will never come, I promise you. Well, tonight, we're going to get you in the right mindset and get you in the game. Like the tech exec who turned her Polaroid pictures into millions. You want to make millions? Well, of course you do. I'm about to show you an idea that's guaranteed to make you smack yourself in the head and say, why didn't I think of that? I'm talking about a woman who found hidden millions basically cutting holes in paper. I kid you not. She's Leslie Manos, founder of Adesso Albums. How are you, Leslie? I'm good, thank you. Obviously, it's not as simple as that, but guess what? It is, okay? <laughs> At home, folks, get this. A million bucks. The concept is, I want to hold this up. Well, you tell, you tell us. What, what's the concept? Take Polaroid pictures at an event, and you slide them into the little die cut. Well, here, we'll take a Polaroid picture of Donnie. Basically, what this is, is she sells a book of blank pages with holes in it so that you take a picture of me, okay? And if picture I go to an out. event, you slide it in Put to one of the things right here. Right in here. Okay, so it goes in there. And now at the event, it somebody can, can write, it develops, and you can write what happens at the event. We'll come back to that. Here we have a lot of folks on our show. Is in the control room here, and they write, hey, it's Kate and Carolyn. Million bucks, guys. Million bucks. I kid you not. Yeah, you're smacking yourself. Right, I know. I know. <laughs> Hurts. Hurts good, though, right? Okay, this is great. This is, how'd you come up with this? I, um, I was in Italy at a friend's wedding uh, in 2001, and she asked me the afternoon of her wedding to take Polaroid pictures at, a, at the reception, scotch tape them into a, a scrapbook, and get the guests to write something to she and um, her husband. So I did it. It was great. It was a terrific way to mingle with a purpose. I was there by myself, a lot of Italian people. And at the end of the evening, they had a wonderful memento to take with them on their honeymoon. I love that. And so how did you, now you were, in the, you were in tech business. Yeah, you were yeah, working yeah. a full-time job. How did you say, light bulb, I can do something with this? I had actually quit my full-time job, and I didn't know what I was going to do. So I was over there on a vacation, and uh, I left the wedding, left Florence, went to Rome, sitting on a train, and um, I was kind of reflecting on what had happened at the reception and what a, a cool thing it was, but it was, the form factor was just ugly. It was hideous because it was lumpy. The scotch tape was hard to do. And so I thought, there's got to be a better way to do that. And I think that there's a market because I had fun doing it. They enjoyed it afterwards. So in my little journal, my little <laughs> travel journal that I don't want anybody else to see except these two pages, I sketched out what I thought the design for the album would look like. And here it is. It's just like my picture is developing now. And so now if, we, if there's a little party, we'd go, oh, goofy host, or write something like that in there. <laughs> and we got a little memento, and it's, this is amazing. So how'd you start, how'd you start mass, mass producing it? Well, I came back from Italy, and I met with a friend of mine who's a designer up in San Francisco, and he was gracious and generous with his team, and they helped me kind of come up with a prototype for it. And then it was, um, then it was all about trying to find a manufacturer. But I had gone, I had fell, fallen in love with Italy. I went back, and I rented an apartment in Florence for two months I was there, and while Bill and his team were coming up with the prototype, I was writing the business plan over in um, Italy from little cafes, and, um, and, that's, and I was taking Italian lessons, and I came up with the name for the company in an Italian class. Uh, Adesso means now in Italian, and so it kind of fit. It was at the top of the alphabet. I figured it would do well in the search engines, and, um, and so that's... We love working for other people versus working for yourself now. Oh, it's so much better. It is just terrific. There are no dumb meetings. There is no po politics. You know, the last company I worked for was Cisco, and it was a huge company. It was, it was a great experience. I learned a lot, but I, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. And when I had the idea to do this, it was, I saw my ticket out of corporate America. When, you, when people find out about this and they say, okay, well, let me get this right. You've already made a million bucks basically selling blank pages <laughs> with holes in it that people can put their Polaroids in and well, sign. What do they say to you? Nobody's ever said it quite like well, that. <laughs> they, go, they say, what a great idea. We it's love so it. simple. We love it. And we get calls from customers every day calls, emails, how it's, you know, it's such a special thing for them. So where afterwards. do we go from here? Um, more of the same. I mean, we did a million dollars in sales this year. I hope to do even more uh, next year and, or this year in 2008. And we do have some new products out on the horizon based on new technology. So, you know, Polaroid is one um, form factor that the book accommodates. They do digitals as well. And there's something new that's actually You got the big idea month. smile because you're doing your own thing. You're going after your dream. Leslie Maddow's founder. <laughs> of Adesso albums. I'm going to go back and write some more silly stuff about myself. More big ideas straight <laughs> ahead.